So now as we come over the wreck this time, I've got water column targets turned on. Now I can see some bigger fish that are just holding above it. And a lot of them are all actually stacked down one side. There's a rock up in front of us. There's quite a steep drop off on this side. As you'd expect, we've got some fish sitting in the back eddy, some Mau Mau or Demizels. Just a very graphic 3D representation of what's down there, which aligns with what is actually there. Well, anyone that's been following uh, my fishing efforts for the last 20 years will know that I've been using Fruno for a long time. It's in more recent times that I've been using Wasp. Now, it's New Zealand technology, which I find incredible, and it allows me to map the seafloor everywhere I go. I've got an incredibly wide beam, and I use all sorts of applications to find fish, but what we're gonna do today is actually map a, a wreck that's just up in front of us here. I've not driven over it before. Well, I've driven over it lots, but not with the wasp. And we're just gonna take a shot of the wasp so you can see it in action in 3D mode. And we're gonna also have a diver down there going over the top so we can give you an idea of what the wasp is showing versus what's actually down there. Now, you can see I've never driven over here before and you can see the beam of the wasp down there. Now, as I'm approaching, look, there's just a little wee rock there, which is actually something that I'd be looking out for on the mud. A rock like that would be something that I might mark and fish on. And here we go now, we're starting to map the wreck that's down there, just as we go over the top of it. That'll be the wreck laying down there. When we're looking at our underwater, we'll be able to compare what that looks like there we go, we're coming off the end here. And in a fishing application, if that was a bit of structure, I can just sort of rotate around, take a good look at the structure, where any guts might be, where any fish might be holding off the sides. I can also turn on water column targets so I can see the relativity of the fish to the structure. And just having this view just gives me such a better understanding of what I'm working with underneath me versus just a straight out 2D view. But of course, I do run the 2D view as well. I'm still running my uh, one kilowatt transducer over here on my Furuno TZ Touch 3. So I've got that view all the time, but I can just switch to different views on here. So if we go to a sonar view as we go across, well then I can actually see a representation of what that beam is showing and where any fish targets might be showing up. So as I come back across it again this time, but we've got my sonar view, we'll actually be able to see the structure and the relative distance to the fish. So now as we come over the wreck this time, I've got water column targets turned on. Now, what I can do as I turn it on is I can adjust the color erase and I can turn that up. And just with my experience using this, I know that if I get to minus 43 decibel, that's gonna tune out any of the smaller bait fish. Just, I don't wanna be marking jellyfish or any other, other stuff. It will mark them, but I'm gonna tune them out because I, I'm interested in what bigger fish are holding on the structure like snapper and kingfish. As we come over this time, you can see I've got bait fish over here on this screen, but none of them are showing as targets. And it's now that I get onto the structure, I can see some bigger fish that are just holding above it. And a lot of them are all actually stacked down one side. It looks like the fish are all holding out this side, the larger fish, whereas the small fish, well, you know, you could be sucked into to fishing the wrong sort of targets. Now, if I'm gonna be fishing this, which I'm not, I'd be fishing on that side of the structure because it's very graphic there where those fish are holding. So now this time we're just coming up to uh, a bit of a shallower rock here. We're sort of in 10, 11 meters of water. Sort of a rubbly, rocky sort of bottom, relatively flat. There's a rock up in front of us. And just as I come up here and run up over the side of it, we're gonna be able to get a look at the shape of the rock. And we're just coming up and over now. I can see that my beam's just sort of running down that side there. And you can see if I zoom in, there's quite a steep drop off on this side and depending on the current angle, that would be a good place to look for fish if you've got a nice sharp edge. And just as I come off the back here, as you'd expect, we've got some fish sitting in the back eddy, some Mau Mau or Demizels. And again, just a very graphic 3D representation of what's down there, which aligns with what is actually there. And that is the magic of the wasp. 